Hi there, good to see you today. My name's Bob Ross. My good friends call me Alex. Thank you for joining me today for the joy of painting. So today, I'm starting out with my pre-stretched double prime canvas and I've covered it with a nice layer of liquid white to make it nice and wet, nice and wet. So I thought today we try something new instead of those sissy landscapes, we might try some of those cool superheroes I see and uh, just really get our blood pumping. I mean, just can't contain ourselves. So, all right, so once you got your canvas wet there, if it ever starts to dry out, just throw on a Berry White CD and you're good to go. So, all right, here we go. All right, so first of all, we want to take a little of this back in black here. And what we want to do is load up our brush. So, like so, you just want to load up that brush, load it, load it, load it. The brush isn't the only thing that wants to be loaded right now. So, okay. All right, so we got it nice and loaded here. What we want to do, up starting in the corner here, just little, little figure fours. What we want to do, like that, just like touch, yeah. Just like touch, just like that. Hmm. Just keep working it, working it, working it. Alright, just like something like it. Alright. Light touch, light touch. Two hairs and some hair. That's all you're looking for. Alright. Alright, I'm liking that. Alright. Doesn't matter, it's your painting. It's your world. You do what you like. So just keep working that like that. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our next color. So what we want to do is clean our brush. And this odorless paint thinner. You want to make sure you get odorless so that you don't uh, run everybody in the house out. You won't be very popular. Anymore. So just a little odorless there. Knock off the excess. <laughs> just beat the devil out of it. That's a fun part right there. You want to beat it like you're 14 years old. Mom and dad just left for a dinner date. Okay, all right, I think we're good there. All right, next we wanna load up some of this Red Rocket Currents on here. Just load that brush up. All right, and what we're gonna do is come in and what we wanna do is work from dark to light. So, all right, just like that right there. Once again, you wanna do little figure fours all the way across here. Yeah, that's how you wanna work it like that, work it, baby. All right, okay. All right, even though we're not done with this color, we're gonna wash our brush again because uh, I can just never get enough of that. So, all right, so we're gonna dip it back in our odorless paint thinner, knock off the accents, and just go to town. <laughs> this is a fun part right there. So uh, sometimes if I'm in a hurry, uh, I've got a lady friend will come over and clean my brush for me. And, uh, it goes much faster, so uh, lets me focus on painting while she's cleaning my brush. Out. Yeah. Sometimes I don't even paint; I just come in here and clean my brush. So. Yeah. Clean it like that. Clean it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So we're moving on to our next color here. All right. So what we're looking to do now, we want to load up our brush with a little bit of this nose candy white here. Wow, well, it's looking good right there, and. Uh, what we want to do is somewhere about right, oh, gee whiz, that just gets my blood boiling. Mercy, oh goodness. All right, so there there are no mistakes. There's just happy little accidents. So maybe maybe a little rocket lives right there. Maybe that's what we'll put. We'll put a little rocket right there. So let me get my knife real quick. All right, so what we do is got our trusty knife here. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to throw a little bit of this down right here. And uh, let's uh, throw in a little bit of this uh, Sweet Madam Blue right here. All right, yeah, mix that together. See, I can pretty much mix any color together and it's gonna look awesome. Uh, you're not gonna be as fortunate, uh, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, like, just like that, all right? All right, and what we're gonna do is uh, come in right here. Let's see where this little rocket lives. I think I think I like, he's gonna live about right there. Yeah, that's good, so it's your world, so. Just make him right there. You want to come 
downward stroke like so. All right, a little bit like so. All right. Take our a uh, little bit of our paint thinner here, and we just kind of swipe across like so. A little bit more right there. Some definition. All right, we're gonna take first we're gonna clean our knife off. We're gonna take a little bit of this uh, Talos Tally Green here, and we're gonna make some dashes across here like so. All right, all right. So. I'm liking that, that's, that's looking good, I'm liking that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so even though our astronauts are mainly white, we're gonna throw in a little bit of this uh, Sweet Madam Blue again. Uh, mix that up real nice right there. Okay, All right, don't worry about mixing it too thoroughly because uh, it just gives us a wide kaleidoscope of colors here, so uh, that's looking pretty good right there. All right. I'm gonna load up that brush again and uh, just keep making those circles. Keep making those circles. Once again, it's your world. You just find out where it lives and you just bring them into being. Alright, I'm liking that there. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna go, uh, not sure. Uh, we got a little bit of uh, beaver brown here. Uh, it tends to be on a little bit on the dark side, but uh, yeah, beaver brown. And then uh, right here we got a little bit of uh, Uranus uh, brown also. So even though uh, Beaver and uh, Uranus are, are really close to one another, you don't want to get too mixed up there. So uh, be very careful about that. Yeah, very careful. All right, so let's take a little bit of the, oh, dang it, I got my sweet madam blue and my Beaver. All right, all right, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna clean that off. All right. Okay. All right, make sure your knife's clean before you touch your beaver with it. Okay, all right, take a little bit of your beaver here. All right, you wanna load that up on your knife there. All right, what you're doing is looking, you just wanna make these astronauts pop out like right here, so here's what we're looking to do. Something like that, all right. All right, yeah, hmm. I'm really liking that. That's looking good, man. All right, just scrape a little bit through there, it looks good. Maybe add a little bit of your Uranus, Uranus, however you want to say it. All right, put a little bit of him on there, and voila. All right. Okay, so looking pretty good there. All right, let's uh, let's move on. Okay, let's pretend like a happy little rock formation lives just right here. Okay. So I got my one-inch brush here. I'm just gonna load it up, load it up. You want to take a little bit of that off there, and. Uh, Okay, so uh, let's say his hands right up here. So, little small downward strokes like so, all right? Downward stroke, just pull that down like that. And as, as you get to the bottom, just easing up your uh, grip like that. Yeah, just like that. All right, that's nice, I like that. All right, and I uh, got his thumb like so, all right? That's looking nice, okay. All right, let's, let's pretend like his head is like, maybe just right here, all right? That's looking good. I like that, all right. Okay. All right, looking good, I like it. All right, we wanna give some definition to a rock here. It's just kinda not all there. So uh, let's go to uh, back in black again. And uh, Okay, this is all in the wrist here. You just wanna come across. Good there. Okay. Okay, so now we got that thing right there. Yeah, that thing uh, painted. Uh, let's move on to the uh, fireman. It's, uh, I think maybe a cool fire scene behind him there. I, I can just see that happening there, maybe about right here. So, but first of all, we got to wash out our one inch brush. So uh, let's get that clean. All right, a little bit of our Otis paint thinner here. So. Not nearly as fun cleaning off a small brush. Just, just not the same, but you just wanna beat the devil out of it is what you're looking for. Just beat that thing until the devil's out of it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the fun part right there. Just beat it. You have to watch, cause like if you have observers around, uh, there's no telling, you know, this thing could splatter anywhere and get on anybody. So uh, you just wanna tell any bystanders to 
watch out. So, all right, all right, okay. All right, I could do that all day, but uh, I think it's clean. All right, taking our red rocket crimson again, we're gonna load up our brush, all right? And uh, let's say he lives something like this, and he's got his arm sticking up in there, yeah, like that. So uh, notice how having the other colors there it just kind of blends together, yeah, I like that. All right, all right, and let's say, take a little bit of this uh, red rocket crimson here. And, oh, I got some of my beaver in it again. All right, do not want to get your red rocket in your beaver. That is not good. All right, so I'm gonna smear a little bit more red rocket over here. Yeah, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna take a oh, take a little bit of this old yellow right here and mix them together. All right, once again, you want to keep them a little bit separated on the colors here because it just makes the color palette more interesting. All right, do a little bit more old yellow. Okay. I'm gonna load up our brush with that and uh, just come around. What you wanna do is around his arm here and pick up a little bit of yellow like so. You wanna just dab and lift, dab and lift like so. All right, just like that. So now we'll go back to some of our nose candy white and we're gonna just give him some little eyes here. You wanna dab like that and pull to the outside. And dab like this and pull to the outside. All right, there we go. All right. Paint the stretchy man over here, like so. All right, and we'll use a little bit of, we'll use a thin coat of this, uh, this blue that I made out, uh, the Sweet Madam Blue. Make it real see-through here. Okay, and paint her in like this, all right. And something like that. All right, I like that, I like it. All right, so I think we'll call that finish. So until next time, it's your old friend, Bob Alex Ross, giving hope to those who can't even color inside the line. So happy painting, God bless. totally embarrassed uh, apparently Alex Ross and Bob Ross are not the same person so uh, did a little bit of research they are um, father and son though so that's not true either but uh, anyways so here's a picture of Alex Ross and uh, no that's a joke also so uh, here is a picture of Alex Ross <laughs> that actually is Alex uh, <laughs> Just messing around, but a uh, huge fan of his. Uh, you know an artist is special whenever you see a piece of art and you know it's them immediately just by the style. And uh, this painting, uh, Fantastic Four, is my childhood favorite with the thing being my favorite uh, character of my childhood. And uh, you may have seen my custom thing uh, review that I had. I love that piece. Not sure if I'm going to display this with that. Um, actually, display space is going to be a problem with this guy. Uh, actually, may go on the closet door that's actually behind this drop backdrop that you currently see here. But um, I'll find a spot. But when I saw it on Sideshow, I was like, I got to have that. So uh, this is actually uh, the Ross 75th anniversary of Fantastic Four variant cover. And it was Fantastic Four 1 that came out in 2014. This was a, uh, again, a variant cover. So I uh, just fell in love with it the second I saw it and uh, like, gotta have it, gotta have it in my collection. So uh, that uh, that uh, comic was written by James Robinson and uh, this art print is 200 pieces. Uh, I have number 168 out of 200 and it is signed by Alex himself. Uh, so that's very cool. Comes with the certificate of authenticity of the signature. So uh, just a really cool collectible and uh, one that I will proudly display in my collection. The piece is 17 by 24. 
If you get it framed with sideshows, that is a 21 by 29 uh, dimension for it. So uh, just outstanding. Um, love this print. Uh, of course, it depicts them uh, going up in, in the uh, rocket into space, which I just re learned that they actually named that recently. And the name of the uh, rocket is actually Marvel One. So pretty cool little tidbit there. So it uh, depicts everything with their origin story from the Gamma Rays and uh, then of course them after they become Mr. Fantastic, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and The Thing. So uh, very, very cool piece. Just exquisitely done and uh, can't say enough about how perfect it is for what I would want in a uh, Fantastic Four piece. So hope you enjoy checking it out. Uh, Recently, just passed, uh, actually one week ago today, uh, was our one year anniversary for half ass Reviews. And there was much rejoicing. We just are right about the 1300 mark on a uh, sub, so uh, thank you all so much for the past year and support. Really, really appreciate everyone. Hope you enjoy everything. Hope you got a laugh at my goofiness in the skit. and. Um, just once again, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all stay safe, take care, and if you're not doing it half-ass, you ain't doing it right, cue the logo slam in three, two, one.